Hey guys, MD Gaming here, bringing you a how-to series with the Omaha. This is a really good ship. It's pretty powerful if you know how to use them. Uh, we're gonna use Norman Scott, uh, basically, because he has a really good base trait of shell grouping with Mbelli in our Chang to lower the reload speed, right? We're gonna go over to Beyond Range for increasing his range, Igniter to increase fires, Armed and ready so I know who's firing at me. Fixated for battery dispersion for better accuracy. And then refill station again for that 10% battery reload if you're a 6'4 legendary guy. Now let's jump into the gameplay and let's watch how she plays. Thing about the Omaha is she is a Citadel magnet. Everybody wants to be able to shoot her. It's probably one of the first targets that anybody will ever try to shoot at. And that's just because at any direction she can get citadel so for the omaha when you're playing you need to make sure that you're always kiting always moving left and right trying to make yourself a hard target if you stay in one straight line you will get citadel and you will be back at port within you the first 30 seconds free. of the game Not one spot now i like the labor liberty guys it. but i think if i had to do it again i probably would have bought some stellar crates just in case like i, I got something cool um, but she's a pretty good guys to have, so I like it. Um, with the Omaha, again, like you have very thin armor, um, but you have some super strong guns. And so, one thing as a as a cruiser player, if you play, if you spawn on the outside, that for most cruiser players you should be doing is you should be trying to make a beeline to the outside of the last cap. When you're making the, the beeline to the outside last cap, it's going to allow you to contain the enemy from the inside and the it's gonna allow the people in the middle cap if they come to your side to have some crossfire abilities if the enemy tries to chase you over there so I'm at 14.2 um, I know my, my, my max range is about 16.1 kilometers but this is a good time to me for, for you to shoot the Nevada because you can see that his guns aren't facing you um, this is why I use that spot to always let me know who I'm being attacked by. I have two people focused on me. And if you look at the lower part, I'm already turning. Omaha should always be kiting left and right, moving back and forth. It's going to allow you a better ability to avoid everything. I wasn't even paying attention to the aircraft carrier. And because I'm moving left and right, it's making myself a harder target for everybody. So me and this, uh, what you should be doing in the Omaha is be trying to start as many fires as you can, get those distance shots if you can, um, and then again, now focusing on some destroyers if they ever show up. I'm able to do a lot of damage on the destroyer. He thought that he would be better on the side. And as any type of cruiser player, you should always be focusing on destroyers first. When you're focusing on destroyers first, it's going to free up a lot uh, for your battleships to, to maneuver. So again, like my Wyoming, he's pushing forward. And again, you're that cruiser. So if you can get that destroyer off the board, it's gonna be beneficial. Took out one of those torpedoes. You lower the ability for him to use many torpedoes against my uh, battleship. So you're gonna be able to keep him in the game a little bit longer. And by keeping the game a little bit longer, I mean, he still died. So, you know, <clears throat> you try hard, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Um, but keep keep pushing, keep keep maneuvering. The Omaha has guns on every inch of itself with a good turret traverse. So if you just wanted to keep turning in 360s, you could do that and do a lot of damage to the enemy. So always keep yourself moving as if you're spotted. So I'm not spotted right now. No one's really attacking me, so I can kind of stay fixated. And as an Omaha player, again, like you want to try to get as many rounds as, as you can down, start those fires while not staying spotted so enemy battleships can attack you. And I know we're in a game where we only have one battleship, but I cannot stress enough how important it is to kite consistently in the Omaha. There's certain cruisers where you don't have to kite at all or maneuver. Um, you can pretty much just bow tank a lot of stuff. Um, or hide in smoke, but for the Omaha It's very difficult for you to survive if you're just staying in one straight line for longer than three seconds Because every battleship and every cruiser is gonna go after you because of your citadel 
And again, like I said, like I know it's the only target on there, Cruiser but engine. as the Omaha, you have such a quick reload. Um, it's important for you guys to try to go after these destroyers, uh, knock them out, knock, try to knock out their engines, try to knock out their torpedoes. It's gonna be able to help uh, your team uh, succeed a little bit better and, and knock those people off the board. So luckily our destroyer has a lot more health and this Acosta is gonna be out. Um, but now we can focus on the two Phoenixes that are on our side. Um, again, like the Omaha, I have overmatch over this Phoenix, right? Because the Phoenix is a tier three. And so basically I can now push uh, the Phoenix um, and uh, puts the sky. Um, I'm gonna focus on the Russian uh, cruiser first over the Phoenix, just because the Russian uh, cruiser has very strong AP guns compared to my little brother the Phoenix. So I'm focusing on him trying to do damage, set fires. As you can see, like I know it's low tiers, but 700 damage per shot is amazing when you got a reload of five, six seconds. So the Kuzlikov is trying to hide behind the island. I don't want him to, so I'm gonna start making him AP at him. Hopefully, if I shoot AP at him, uh, he won't turn around as much. Didn't really do much, so I'm going back into AG, um, and then I'm firing. And sometimes, if you have a cruiser that has a quick enough reload, shoot some AP and see if they're gonna ricochet or do some citadels, because um, ultimately, that's gonna help you out. So right now, I switched to AP because I knew he was gonna go broadside, and there I go, able to get two citadels right down there, and then he's out of the game. Now, Their cruiser I got is hit done. twice, Citadel. That's why I wanted to go after that Kusikov first, because ultimately, that was just gonna be disastrous um, if he actually tried to, to kill me. Um, and I went after the Phoenix first. But here we go, just shooting at long distance against the Konigsberg. Um, the one downside about the Omaha is just that it's round such a long uh, stop time. Um, if you're new to the game, if you look to where I'm firing the guns to the lower left of that, there's like a stopwatch that says like 8.49 or what you saw. That's the time it'll take for your rounds in the air to actually hit your target. So. When you're looking at specific attacks and everything like that, just kind of take that into account. Sometimes auto aim uh, isn't good enough uh, to allow you to really get the 8.49 or, or really get you onto the target that you need to get on. So sometimes you have to lead. Um, don't always trust auto aim, is kind of what I'm saying. Um, especially on. Uh, cruisers that uh, have a longer air time of their rounds. So, just trying to shoot this Konigsberg. He's kiting a little bit. I'm trying to shoot him, um, thinking that he's going to kite to the right. Um, that way I could do more damage, but he's just not. So, he's now just staying straight and uh, focusing my shots. And this is where Norman Scott really comes in. Like, if you look at those five shots, it was beautiful. All of them were one right next us. to another. Um, and that's why Norman Scott is a fantastic commander. I have commanders that don't have any type of um, personal accommodation, but I wanted to make him a 16-4 because of how strong he is and how many times I use him for everyone. But Omaha, just keep maneuvering, kiting, turning away, make yourself a hard target for everyone. I'm making I'll myself a hard target for this carrier we're at three kills three citadels we got all the caps we were just able to to really survive this one and now it's uh three of us against uh, the enemy carrier and i think there's a good strong point just again to reiterate that if you're getting frustrated because you're getting just destroyed in the omaha working your way up try to go to the pensacola line and everything you gotta remember that this is a citadel magnet. What it lacks in armor, it emphasizes in its uh, firepower and reload speed. So if you can focus on maneuverability along with using the distance of your shots, 
you're gonna be able to stay alive a lot longer because you're gonna have the ability to maneuver and then deflect or avoid the shots from battleships and other cruisers. If you're watching me fire at this, the only reason why I'm firing at the corner is this, is just because I believe that the enemy carrier is in the corner. I'm not just crazy, just it's a popular spot for carrier players to play is in the corner. And um, I don't know why it's actually a very bad position to play, but I figured I could probably shoot him and, 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 and kill him um, before I had to get there actually. Uh, but yeah, he's not there. So I just kind of stopped firing and then I was able to find him. But you're going to just see how much firepower this uh, cruiser can do. So Langley, full health. We're at 5 minutes and 21 seconds. Start a fire with the first shot. And I'm able just to keep playing down 2,700 damage. Just keep firing. Um, just constant barrage. Uh, high caliber metal. And this is where the Omaha is just a really good ship to, to have. Our time runs its AP short. is super strong. Its HE is really strong. Um, if you can use them, definitely try to use them. Um, I'm too close. I'm literally like, like, that's how strong the AP is on the uh, Omaha. It's just, I was six kilometers away and I had six or five pen, four pens out of the five shots I fired. So, AG was probably the better choice to, to shoot at the line. And you're going to realize that about the Omaha, is that you have to focus on trying to use its guns. It has torpedoes. Just, it's such a versatile uh, cruiser to use as long as you're doing the maneuvers and kiting that you're going to need to do and not getting close to enemy battleships or cruisers. Playing the Omaha at distance is the only way to really be successful in killing uh, the enemy. Um, so the battle ended. Um, it was a good game. I hope you guys kind of learned that like for the Omaha, you need a kite. You need to shoot at distance. Um, that is how you're going to be successful with fighting uh, with the Omaha. You got 250,000 uh, credits, almost 8,000 damage. And if you guys look at the results, here I am at 2,539 XP with three kills, a high caliber medal. So again, like focusing on using the Omaha at distance is going to be the most successful thing you guys can do. But hey okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If there's things I can improve on, please let me know. I'm here to build content for you and make the player base better. But with that, MD Gaming out.